Hello guys, welcome to AWS Daily with Ukeme. And today we will be deploying a React weather application to AWS ECS. So ECS stands for Elastic Container Service, which is a managed container service solution by AWS. So what you're seeing here on the screen is the application, the weather application I, should I say modified? And this is the application we would be deploying to ECS. So if we, this is the, the code base is, is written in React, JavaScript React, and you can find that code base here. I'll put the link to this repo in the description below. So check the description for the link to the code. Currently this application is working. And if I search for any city, if I search for Lagos, for example, Lagos, Nigeria, it is going to bring out the details, you know, the current um, weather conditions and then the forecast for the week, you know. So this is the application. The first thing we need to do is open your ID. At this point, I'm using Gitboard. You might be using VS Code or AWS Cloud9, but at this point, I am using Gitboard. So the first thing we need to do is to install AWS CLI. It allows us to connect to, to AWS. So to install AWS CLI, you just need to go to, open a new tab and just search for AWS CLI. Click on the first link. Then you get these instructions on how to install AWS CLI on whatever OS you're using. If I come here and then, so I have to install it with Linux. So my Linux architecture is x86 64 bit. I just need to copy this and then go here, paste it on my CLI. Yes, yeah, so if I run AWS version, I'm going to run that to check if it's installed. So now it's installed. I have AWS CLI installed. Log on to your AWS console. Go to your I am. Go to I am. So what we want to do now is to create an access key for our AWS user. At the moment, the name of my user is called Cyrax, as you can see on the top right-hand corner here. So if I go to users, click on users, I have Cyrax user here. If I click on that and then go to credentials, security credentials, click on that, scroll down to access keys. So now let's create an access key. Now we're creating an access key for the command line interface, the CLI, that's AWS CLI. You select that, scroll down, click on I understand and click on next, click on next. So at the moment now you have your access keys. All right, so we now need to use these access keys to configure AWS here. So what we need to do is to run this command AWS configure. So you say AWS configure. Once you do that, it's going to ask you for the access key. Copy this, paste it there. Your secret, copy it, paste it there. The region. So now we need, is asking for a default region name. At this point, we use the US East one. And then the output format will be on JSON. Great, so we have that done now. If we go back to check our our previous command, AWS STS get caller identity, it should now bring up Cyrax. So as you can see, the current user here is now Cyrax. All right, so the next thing now is to build the Docker image. If you check the files here, I already created the Docker file. We check the root, 
Yes, so this is the Docker file. We now have to create an image of this application. So to do that, you would just need to do Docker build dash T and then the image name, we can call this weather, weather forecast, maybe version one or something, you know? So if I do this, you have to add a full stop at the end, then click on enter. It's going to build that image. But I've already done that before, so there's no point doing it again. So if I do Docker images, I can see that I have already built this image before. So this is the one I built, weather forecast Nginx. So that was the latest one I built like two hours ago. So that, and that's the one we will be using. So you can create your own image, you know. So I already have that image. The next step now is to push this image to this Docker image to AWS Elastic Container um, Repository, that's ECR. So before we push this image to ECR, we need to create the ECR repo. Go back to AWS and search for Elastic Container ECR Repository. Elastic Container Repository, which is a fully managed Docker container registry where you can share and deploy container um, software. So if I click on that, now I can create a new repo. You know, we have a private repo, we have public repo. I have actually created this repo before, but I'm, go I'm going to create a new one just so you see the process. So on the top right hand corner, you see create repository, click on that. I want it to be public. So we now have to put in the repository name. I will call this weather forecast app two because I already have one done before. Scroll down, scroll down, and then you're in Linux operating, choose your operating system. In this case, it's Linux. If you're using a Windows, click on Windows, you know, and then you have to choose the architecture. So in terms of the architecture with Windows, you can search for it in your settings, but on Linux, you can basically just set, do this LSCPU, and then if you scroll up, scroll up you see the x8664 that's the architecture of this actual cpu you know so i'm going to choose that here and then you can write the description you can write out licensing and every other thing but i'll be skipping that for now click on create repo so right now this is the repo we've already created here because we've created this repo here, if you look up, it's, you, you have this here saying view push commands, right? So if I click on view push commands, it gives me the instruction on how I can actually push my 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 weather application. That's the Docker image I've, I've created locally, how I can push that to this um, EC, ECR, which is the repo. So the first thing is just to copy this, Go back to the terminal, just erase all of this, and yeah, just paste that there. Login successful. The next thing now is to build the image. We have already done that before. If we do Docker images, you should see the image we built here. This is the one we're using. Um, weather forecast nginx. And then the next thing is we have to now tag that image to this AWS one. You know. So to do that, we will say docker tag weather forecast. That's this. And then add the tag there, nginx, nginx. Now we need to tag that to this particular public link URI here. So I I'm going to copy this and then put that there and then click on enter. So we've tagged this image to ECR repository. Let's do Docker images. Once we do Docker images, we can see that tag right here. So, so this is it here. This is what we've tagged and this is what we're pushing to AWS. So I'm just going to copy that and copy it. Now to push that, we will just say Docker push, and then you put that link there. 
for that URI there. And it's going to push the new image to ECR. Push complete. We will go back to ECR, all right, and then click on this. We should see the image there. So now we have that image currently here. So we are done with the step of pushing our local built image to AWS Container Registry. Now we have to move to the ECS part where we would now have to deploy this particular image, this weather forecast image on ECS. I'm going to leave this tab, I'll open a new tab. And in this new tab, you can search for AWS ECS, which I have here. I'm just going to click on that. ECS is a fully managed container service you know, where you can now deploy your containerized application. So the first thing we need to do is to create a cluster. On the left-hand corner, click on cluster. And now in this section, click on create cluster. So once I click on that, I have to give the cluster a name. I'm going to call this weather forecast cluster. And then in the VPC section, I'm going to choose my default VPC. I want this to run in one subnet instead of five. So I'll just leave US East 1A. I'll leave that um, subnet. The namespace, leave the namespace. In this, in this instance, we want it to run as a Fargate serverless instance. So it's cheaper and you pay as you go, you pay for what you use. So I'm going to leave this as default and then we click on next it's going to create the cluster so it takes close to like one to two minutes to create this cluster and we it might be less in some cases so we have currently created this weather forecast cluster if i click on it you can see that we have this cluster running it's active but we don't have no service no tax so the next thing we need to do is to create a tax definition. On the left-hand corner, you see tax definition there. Click on tax definition. And now we have to create a tax definition because we have none here. So if I click on, click on create tax definition, I can give this tax definition a name. I'm going to call it weather task, you know, and then scroll down, leave the infrastructure as it is, as far gates. Um, in terms of the CPU, just one VCP is okay. In terms of the memory, let's let's use a two gig um, of RAM. In terms of the role, we can use um, ACS tax execution role, or you can create a new role somewhere here. Create a new role. If you click on create new role, it's going to create a new role. Well, in this case, I've already done this before, so I'm going to use the previous role I have. Now scrolling down. In the container section, we now have to, this is where the um, ECR URI comes in very handy. So if I go back to the previous tab where I created this repo, you know, there is a copy URI link here. I can just click on this. It's going to copy the URI and then paste that here. All right, so we have that there. And then I can give this container a name. I'm going to call it weather, weather forecasts app. Okay, so I have that running. It's going to run on port 80 here. Yes, this is looking correct. So TCP, this is the name on port 80. Um, leave everything as default and then click on create. Yes, we have currently created this tax. You know, so if we come back to tax definition, we see we have one revision of this tax running. You see that there, one revision of this tax running. So the next thing we need to do is to go back to this our cluster and then click on that cluster. And then once we click on the cluster, we can now add tax. If you go to the tax section and then run a tax, run new tax, click on run new tax. 
Once you click on run new tax, you have two options, which is capacity provider strategy and the launch time. We we'll leave that as default. Scroll down in terms of the deployment configuration, leave it as tax. And then um, in the family, click on it and select that tax that we've created. We only really have one version there. Desired tax, we want it to run just once. Leave every other thing as default and then click on create. So now that has been created. If we go back to the cluster, click on tax. Yes, so now the status is running. So that means that we have successfully deployed um, the container to the cluster using that tax definition, all right? But now, how do we access the application? So if we click on this, click on that task, and then we go to, I'm going to bring this down just a bit. Yes, so if we go to, scroll down to configuration, we have the public IP here. So if we click on the public IP, the application would not run, right? Because of one last thing. Good, so we see now that we have this error, this site can't be reached. The reason why we have this issue is because of the security group, you know? So we use the public IP, but we can't access the application because the security group, it doesn't allow HTTP traffic. How do we fix that? So if we go back and then go to networking, under networking, we should see security groups there. If we click on security groups, now we go into that security group and what we have to do is to edit the inbound rule. On the right-hand corner, low right-hand corner, you see edit inbound rules, click on that. And now we need to add a new rule. Adding a new rule, we need to add HTTP, which opens up port 80 and our application runs on port 80. And then we can say from anywhere, which is this, you know, but it, it is ideal to add the specific IP address you want to allow to connect. But we want this application to be public from anywhere. That's why we, we selected this. So if I save these settings, right, and then come back here to refresh. Now you see that we can access this application. It is fully working, fully functional on AWS ECR. We've completely deployed this application. If I search for Spain or if I search for, let's say Madrid, Madrid, I get the weather. If I search for Abuja, which is in Nigeria, I get the weather. So we have this application fully deployed and running on Amazon ECS. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you need more tips, you can send me a DM or put your comments uh, down below. Thank you and have a lovely day ahead. Bye-bye.